Hey, happy Friday, dreamers. Today is a beautiful sunny day, so I took my camera outside and filmed a couple of shots from my garden. Well, not really my garden. It's my very uh, green-thumbed landlady does uh, some wonderful work keeping the, uh, the outside surrounding the house where I live just absolutely beautiful. And uh, there's a reason that I decided to take the camera out and show you this is, uh, you know, just wanted to give you an idea of uh, just how beautiful nature can be. And obviously, this is something that I, I think is pretty clear to everybody who's ever, you know, walked in a, a nice park on a sunny day. But there's something about getting out and seeing the greenery and the leaves, especially in the springtime, like it is now, and uh, looking at the, just the, the, the gorgeous way that, that nature builds up around uh, all, the, all of our man-made structures. It's really very inspiring. And that's uh, just a quick point I, I wanted to make today is that as artists, I think it's important for us to find ways to be inspired. And uh, I don't really think you can get much better inspiration than nature itself. Little flowers like this, there's so much detail. There's, it's just absolutely beautiful if you, if you take the time to look at it. And you'll find that it can be an amazing source of inspiration for your artwork. And if you're not an artist, you can uh, just know that a great deal of DreamSide's work was inspired by nature and uh, it's nice to be able to get outside and, and take a breath of fresh air and come back to work rejuvenated and refreshed. So I want to pop over here to my computer and I want to show you uh, an example of what I'm talking about. You can see on the screen here I have one of the spreads from DreamSide that I've been working on. This is a sort of unique palm tree flower that of course is a fantasy plant, but it's pretty directly inspired by the real flowers outside, just sort of combining together pieces of uh, nature to make my own creation here. And I think uh, this is an example of how I turn inspiration from nature into something unique and different. I think we all need some degree of inspiration to face the challenges in our lives, and I'm wondering what works for you. So please leave your comments below and let me know uh, some of the things that motivate you to get through some of your own challenges. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.